Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy Ray of Amy Ray Plans. Today I have a very special video. Sam Kerr of the Erin Condren team reached out to me to see if I would be interested in participating in the Petite Planner collaboration. So I got my products today. We're gonna do an unboxing of them. I'm gonna show you how I might use some of them. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. This video will be going up on September 24th, so let's get into it. I took it out of the box um, just so that um, I didn't want to bring the box upstairs. Wow, look at this goodness. So the first thing is the on-the-go petite planner holder. This organizes, stores, and displays up to four petite planners and petite journals in this petite planner holder. I don't know if you can see behind me, but my room is painted turquoise, and this is going to match so nice. So you put the petite planners, and they line up. I can't really show you because my camera doesn't go in and out, but they line up in here, and you can put it on your desk or like a mantle or anywhere in your office. Such a great product. I don't think I got like a piece of paper about pricing or anything like that. If I do, we'll go into that when we get it. Next up, I see this pouch, which is where the, um, where the folios are stored. So I'm guessing this is a folio of some sort. Oh, you have to untie the knot first. Ooh, look at this. It's the new layers theme. This is so pretty. Stunning, and I love that it's embossed in silver. I love silver. I'm a silver and sparkly hollow girl. So pretty, so it has 2021. If you got the winter surprise box for I think it came out in, I think you ordered it in December and it came in January and it had um, a black um, folio with um, 2020 embossed across this. But I love this layers pattern. It is so beautiful. This is the cover that I picked for my life planner for 2021. So I'm like, so excited that this will match up with that. It's, I don't know if you've ever felt or had a folio before, but the, um, I don't know if it's leather or, oh, hold on, wait a second, there's a card in here. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure this didn't say anything. I'm just going to keep it to the side because I'm not sure. Okay. So this is just so beautiful but anyway if you haven't sorry i'm so excited and the inside is that gorgeous teal that erin condren is known for it's deeper than this it's not the light teal it's the darker teal and then of course you have your four strings for your four different petite planners or petite folios so i'm so excited about this because i've been using the 2021 for this year and i was wondering what i'm going to do for next year and now i don't have to wonder anymore because this is going to be it and again this is the colorful layers i know i said layers but i didn't say colorful but they do have a colorful and neutral option and this is um or in the covers and the planners they did have the two different options so i'm not sure if they'll be making this one in a neutral but it's exciting to see them making a layers pattern for the folio and i love the embossing i can't get over that all right and now it looks like we have some petite planners so these ones are the volume one which is january through march of 2021 and then this one is volume two which is april to june of 2020 so you have the first six months of your year in these two portfolios or these two um petite planners and I want to grab mine real quick. This is the one I'm currently in. This ends in September. This really pretty covering was in the summer surprise box. And I just love it. I use my petite planner as like everything. I put lists in here. I put random stickers. My stickers don't need to match. It's not like, this is just like pure 
for my enjoyment. I don't make videos on this. I just do it on the daily, fill things in as I go. I decorate it. I use random colors and I just love this system. So I have been using the Petite Planner for all of this year. And then I used the um, Petite Planner for quarter four of last year as well. So I'm gonna take this one out. If I'm so excited. Thank you, oh, I should have said this in the beginning, but thank you so much to Sam of the EC team for reaching out to me. I'm always excited to collaborate with the Erin Condren team. I've been working with their products since 2011. So 2021 will be my 10th life planner that I'll be using. Um, I'm pretty sure how I found out about EC, I was reading a blog, and I'm a big blog reader, and she posted about her Erin Condren Life Planner. And at that time, I was still in school, so I was using it for like school assignments and stuff like that, and I've just gone down the rabbit hole and enjoy everything that Erin Condren makes. So this is 2021. It's crazy that we're going to be in 2021. This says change starts with you. And I know my lighting's a little off, but um, this is like, I think it's like pink, like a magenta purplish pink. It says so pretty. And that's such a great quote for the beginning of the year. So then you have your introduction page and then you have, it goes right into your monthly. For this, I don't go as in depth in my monthly in here as I do in my life planner. My life planner, I fill in something every day, but for here, I like to use this to keep track of holidays, birthdays, and doctor's appointments. And that's our, and birthdays slash anniversaries and doctor's appointments. And um, when I was working, I did my work schedule as well. And then you have the layers up top and you have the notes on the sidebar. I love using the notes for little like quote stickers or like decorative stickers. And I love using washi on these pages. It really pops. Let me see. I'll show you. Like here was my July spread and I used some washi. I kind of want a little hand with the bow stickers on the side. But I love using washi on the monthly pages along the like days that aren't in the month. So like I would use washi like down here, down here, and then up here. And then you go into your day by day. Um, just like last year, Saturday and Sunday are combined on one page because if you had a separate page for both of those, this planner wouldn't be petite. It'd be much thicker. And then so you have the three sections again, which is the same how it's set up this year with the three sections for like you could do Monday or morning, afternoon, night, or you could do like different things like if your kids have school here or you want to keep track of their activities here and like dinners or something here and then you have your checklist on the side I love these for a number of reasons I love the these you can add things you need to do like it's like Saturday or Sunday I always clean my bathroom so I write that in there or when I dusted in vacuum so I can refer back and be like oh the last time I dusted in vacuum was Thursday and today's Thursday so it's that time again so again it goes through the whole month and the January color matches the color um, of the planner for January, usually. It's always this blue color or like bluish teal. And then February, you have like this magenta e pink. And then the last one for this is March, which is like this mint green. And then in the back of the folios, is it the journals too? I forget, but you get a, a sticker sheet. And this one matches the foiling on the front, which is that magenta -y purple pink. So you have some little stickers here. I love using these stickers, these line ones. And then you have some happy birthday, celebrate, to do, and reminder. So that is the petite planner for quarter one, January through March. I'm trying to put everything to the side because I know I won't be able to fit everything in this shot. And then you have the second quarter, which is April through June. And this, like truly, this is a true unboxing. I haven't seen any of these yet. And then this is a gold. It says your future is bright. And I love the pattern. It has, I didn't even notice the layers pattern until just now. 
So you have the layers pattern. This one's like the darker tones. And then this one's the warmer tones with the orange and like the peach. And again, it's set. they're set up in the same fashion where you have the monthly and then you have your days of the week. So then this will be April with the purple color. And then May is the peach color. And then June is the green color. And then again, your sheet matches the foiling on the front of the cover. So I can't wait to use those. I love using the petite planners. Um, they're so much fun to use and I just think it's a great system. Now on to the rest of the items. So next thing up is this petite planner wellness log. This cover is so beautiful. It says you have whatever it takes and it looks like, yes, it's silver foil. So yes, the petite planners come with stickers, but I don't think the petite journals come with stickers. So excited for everything. So yes, and this is a beautiful pattern. It reminds me of like spring blossoms and that reminds me of self care. So it's good. It's a good theme for a wellness log. And I've never had a, oh, and it, the pattern inside is just as beautiful. I've never had the wellness log before. It says small steps lead to big changes. So it says the starting point, you write like your date, your clothing size, waist, hips. This is all your measurements. And then you do your wellness goals where it gives you a little description of setting wellness or successful goals. And then here you, let me get the tissue paper out of here. I keep bumping into it. And then you don't have to hear that noise. So then it's set up where you have your activity, your habits, and then on this side, which I used to do is keep track of breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. And now I'll have that again, and I think this will really help. And then it's labeled through Monday through Sunday, and then you have your water intake, your steps, and your hours slept, and then like any physical activity you did over here. And then that is how it's set up. Let's see. You get a bunch of sheets like that. I think that's pretty much the whole book. Oh, no. Is it, does it go by month? I thought I was seeing like a monthly. Did I miss a page? Oh, wait. oh no. Hold on. We're figuring out this together. Oh, and then you have monthly progress. So you have a monthly progress sheet and then you could write your accomplishments so far, the progress you're making on your goal, and then the plan for the next month. So this is a three month, right? It would be three months then? Yeah. So you have three months or no. Wait, hold on. Yes. You have the weeks and then you have your months. But I think you get more than, let's see, hold on. This is one month. So then, okay, two, three, four. It looks like you get five months, unless I miscounted. And then in the back, you get some note pages, which would be I what I love to do with something like this. I would use these for motivational quotes, things that keep me... Um, wanting to stay on top of my goals and keep track of them. And then you get a beautiful sticker sheet that's silver foiled. Love anything in silver. And I love the motivational quotes and Erin Condon always has the best quotes on their products. I love the little sneaker too. So pretty, so fun. And stickers are a great way for me to keep motivated, stickers and quotes. So I love that. So that is the wellness log. And I love that it says, don't forget, you've got this. So that is the wellness log. And then next up, oh, I get is the, the rest of the quarter three, volume three and volume four. So this is July through September of 2021. And then this one has purple foiling and the purple um, layers. And it says, there are always good days ahead. I love that quote. So this is July through 
September. And then again, it's set up the same way. I love the layers going across the top of the monthly. Set up the exact same way. And then your quote, sh um, not your quote sheet, your sticker sheet matches the foiling on the front cover. I love how they do that. They match the foiling with the sticker sheet. So pretty. And then this is the final one, which is volume four. And this is October to December of 2021. And this one is my favorite because it's turquoise and that's my favorite color. And it says take small steps each day. Again, you have it the same layout as the other petite planners and then the sticker sheet in the back that matches. And then last or next up is the petite planner budget book. I don't think I've ever had the budget book either. I know I've had the gratitude journal and the petite planners and then some petite notebooks. The notebooks are the ones that don't come with sticker sheets and the journal. No, wait. So this is the budget book and it looks very functional in form with the theme. So it has the layers in a gold and you have the brown backing says every little bit adds up and then the, this is a savings tracker so you have one for each month in the year and you do what you're saving for like if you're saving for a special trip or an item that you want that's like a little bit out of your price range that you have to save up for and then you do your deposit your total saved and you can do two things for each month so like say you're saving for a trip but you're also saving for the new like iPhone or something. You could do two items for each month. And then you have at a glance. So you have these circles, you have future purchases, future bills and savings goals. So like the bills you know you, that come every month like health insurance, dentist, dental vision, whatever. And you can keep track of that. And then on this page, you keep track of your income, savings, housing, food, utilities, health. And then you have, if you have debt in the bottom, and then it says your total income, your total expenses, difference, and total savings. And then you have a spending summary. So anytime you make a purchase, you write the date, the description, the category, and total. So say you went out for dinner, you would put in like um, dinner and then category, it would go like food or entertainment and then the total amount that you spent. So you have a couple of those and then it goes back into the at a glance page and then the spending summary. So that's awesome. And then you have this budgeting sheet in the back, which again matches the foiling on the front of the planner. And then last but certainly not least, you have the On The Go Folio sticker album. This is in the new Flower Power, ver or Flower Power um, theme. I have one that is in like the mid-century circles or the... Hold on, let me grab it real quick. I have it right here, and it currently houses all my sticker sheets from my petite planners and journals, and then it houses the um, some sheets that now they make their sticker sheets to fit these albums, which is great because then you can keep them with you. So I have like a little, I have a little bit of sheets left in this one. And then now I have a second one, which is so cool. And this is the flower power. So they went with the layers theme for the folio and the petite planners. But I'm curious to see if they'll come out with a flower power version for people that liked that theme. And then this was the second theme for the life planner for 2021. I'm going to open it up. You could choose either the layers or the flower power. So this is the flower power it's purple and it has silver foiling which says peace love and stickers and then you have the sticker sheets storage sheets in here and they fit your sticker sheets perfectly and what i do which i'm sure a lot of people do is you use both sides 
So you can put two sheets in one. And I love these, they're so handy. The only sheets I don't keep in here of the Erin Condren stickers are obviously the sticker sheets they made previously that don't fit in them, and also holiday and seasonal sheets. Those I keep in my holiday and seasonal themed binder. So let's go over everything again. So we have the Peace, Love, and Stickers sticker album in the gorgeous Flower Power design. We have the on-the-go petite planner holder, which holds up to four petite planners or petite journals or a combination of both. We have the gorgeous layers folio with the 2021 in silver. Then we have the budget book. The quarter one through quarter four um, daily planners and the wellness log. So as of right now, I don't know when these products will be coming to the site, but I am filming this on the 22nd, so I might have more information for you before then, but if not, I will keep track of it, and then I'll add it to the description bar in this video. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. I'd love to know what you think of these new products, what items your favorite, what items do you see yourself getting now or in the near future. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Sam of the Erin Condren team for supplying me with these beautiful products um, and allowing me to do this video for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're staying safe and doing well, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, everyone.